All right, here with Sean Burmett, uh, back with another five questions this week. Um, first off, uh, the most recent thing that's going on is Mason Paris is competing today. Uh, we're recording this before the finals, but he's in the finals at the Pan Am Games. Looking pretty good. Uh, what have you seen out of him that you really like? Yeah, great. Uh, two great matches so far. Both techs. Offense looked really good, starting really aggressive, and uh, his takedown uh, turn transitions are really sharp. So that's really what led to two, uh, two quick tech falls, and super excited to see him compete. There's a lot of momentum with the U.S. team. They had four guys competing. All four guys are in the finals, so looking forward to seeing Mason's finals match in about 15 minutes. <laughs> um, you know, last week we had the simulation matches in the room, um, we talked about a little bit in advance of those matches, but you know, what'd you see out of those matches? What what'd you like? What do we need to work on? Um, obviously, there's a lot of information that you can kind of take away. So, what are your biggest takeaways? You know, always a lot of areas to work on, but I think you know, in, in certain years, I've kind of walked away from those, and I've I've you know been scratching my head a little bit. This year, honestly, I, I felt really good walking away from those matches, and there were still a ton of areas we saw, some areas on the mat, some setup areas. Um, Obviously, with you know some of our weights, we still got some guys that need to um, just dial in their weight management a little bit. But this early simulation is part of the reason we do that, so it helps them dial it in by the time we actually start competing. Uh, but for the most part, just really competitive matches. I really like how competitive our younger guys were with some of our older guys. Um, I think some of our guys that have weren't in starting roles the last uh, one or two years have made some huge gains over the summer and I was really excited for them uh, to see them compete so well in these in these uh, simulation matches. Um, areas of concentration really we just you know the biggest areas are just continuing with some some fundamentals on the bottom and then and then really just uh, continue with setup routines and, and attack rate but yeah I was I was super pleased I thought the guys wrestled really well really competitive and uh, great matches. Um, so the college season officially starts this weekend. We have to wait another week. Yeah. Um, so what's what's your plan this weekend, and, and are you looking forward to getting into some of these other college wrestling matches? Yeah, looking forward to seeing a lot of wrestling this weekend. We have our biggest recruiting weekend of the fall this weekend, so it's a big recruiting weekend for us. Uh, very excited about that. We have seven recruits coming on campus uh, Friday and Saturday, so really excited for a great weekend of recruiting, uh, night game. Um, we'll be training hard uh, Friday, Saturday as well, so it'll be a busy weekend. Um, and you know, like I said, also also catching a lot of matches, and then you know, obviously we're starting to dial in for uh, the Michigan State Open on November 11th. Um, so touch on that a little bit more. I know you guys were kind of working out the other day. Who all is going? You know, what what goes into that thought process? Who to, who to send? Who not to send? Um, obviously, a lot of matches, but. You know, sometimes it can lengthen the season a little bit. So what goes into that thought process? Yeah, we kind of wait until we get through these simulation matches to really make a final decision on who we're going to compete and, and how those weight classes are going to go. But, you know, for us, really, uh, a lot of our guys that we anticipate are in these, uh, you know, kind of competing for these starting spots. A lot of those younger guys will definitely compete at the Michigan State Open. You know, our freshmen will all compete with the new rule. Um, they'll compete attached at the Michigan State Open. Uh, some of the older guys that we anticipate uh, in these starting lineup roles, uh, we will not have them compete. They will stay back here and train uh, kind of through that, and, and they'll be at the tournament later to support the other guys on the team. But, um, you know, part of that is just, uh, you know, looking at each roster year, your depth, and, you know, what you have coming up after that. Because we got a, we got a road trip with two duels the following weekend and really a Las Vegas uh, invite. So with a focus being the Las Vegas, the Las Vegas invite, that really starts to uh, f kind of form our decision making with some of those veteran guys, and you know just whatever we need to do in these first few weeks to have them as ready as possible and peaked for that for that Cliff Keen Las Vegas invite. But we have 24 guys at this point going to the Michigan State Open, and you know obviously super excited to see them compete and always get a lot of matches and a lot of experience. Um, and I know you're kind of going through some of the uh, marketing plan meetings right now, and, and you're really excited about these Chrysler duels. And I know they're still, you know, a little ways off, but um, can you just, you know, touch on some of that planning and, and what you're excited about out of these 
home duals next semester? Yeah, so really, you know, just overall with our department and some of the different uh, event event planning that goes on, these groups just putting a lot of emphasis uh, and excitement around having these four big duels at, at Chrysler Center. There's been a lot of upgrades in Chrysler Center with just like all the bells and whistles with lights and music and, and sound systems. So um, I know that the investment and just overall entertainment value has really gone up and uh, looking forward to seeing how that is utilized uh, for these duels. Um, talking through just some of the different marketing themes for those nights. I know we're going to have a, a night where we honor our, our, our world medalists from the, the, the current world championships. Um, always have a great alumni duel selected. Our, our senior night, there's going to be a big military uh, appreciation night again. Um, and then we're also kind of working through some ex some, some plans with uh, event staff to expand the floor seating and, uh, you know, really looking to double or triple the amount of floor seating we have um, down on the floor next to the mat to create that, that really extra special uh, intimate environment uh, for some of those fans and, and the guys competing on the mat. So looking forward to finalizing that here in the next uh, few weeks. And, um, you know, and obviously we'll be full swing into the season at that point. All right, Sean. Thank you. And go blue. Go blue.